waiting for us here. What's going on, Vibe Live? Welcome to the home of the Vikings at Bryan High School, a neutral site for the state semifinals for TAPS. We'll see Houston Woodlands Christian Academy taking on the Crusaders from St. Michael's. Team's excited to get underway as they both fight for a spot in the state finals. Both teams with respectable records coming into this one. St. Michael's with an overall record of 18 and 7 and a league record of 13 and 1. While the opponents, Woodlands Christian Academy Warriors, are 23 and 5 overall with a perfect record in TAP's 5A district play. So two good teams at the home stretch of their season. San Antonio beat them 52-42. And the Regents from Austin, 56-44 in that one. And then they beat St. Mary's Hall from San Antonio, 70-61. And then just before this last game on their playoff one to get here, they beat St. Joseph Academy, 49-71. A pretty dominant win to set up their state semifinal run here. And we're just moments from tip-off. win the ball here. Austin Beijini gets the ball here. He'll dribble to the left side and attack the basket here with the left hand and they open up the score here. Easy bucket for Austin Beijini, the junior point guard. And here comes St. Michael's. 
Ball down low. Jack Esperanza misses, no good. Picked up by four. Takes the mid-range and unable to get it, and the Warriors will go the other way. Tough shot there for Pinkin that won't be able to come down. The Crusaders get the rebound. Daniel Serna reading the floor. Passing it around to Colleen. Colleen again bobbling it. Calling for a screen. Sparza gets it to him. Colleen dribbles inside and gets contact. A shooting foul here. A couple free throws will come their way. Dylan will miss the first free throw here. And misses both. And again. Austin Bajani gets the ball, passes inside, no good. Out of bounds, last touch by the Warriors. Here's Daniel Serna running it up the floor as he crosses the timeline. Finds Killeen. Killeen dribbling inside. Turns. Unable to score. Three misses for the Crusaders now. Zion Pitkin drives. Bounces it off the glass but too strong. Last touch by the Warriors. And the ball will go the other way. Crusaders looking to get their first points on the board here. Pass down low. And no call there by the referees. A lot of contact. Austin Beijing coming the other way. Passing it to his right. Cedric Cook with the ball. Gives it to Begnini. Off the mark. But they get the ball back here and more points on the board. That's Ryan Boker, the 6'6 sophomore. Here comes the Crusaders, still looking for the first points on the board. Daniel Serna passes it inside. Here's a foul. And Josh Jones trying to score there with the right hand, but unable to bring it in. And he'll go to the free throw line for two. And they get their first shot to get on the board here, four to one. And Josh Jones, cool as ice as he drills that free throw. They cut the deficit in half, four to two here, the Warriors way with five minutes left to go in the first quarter. Side pass here for the Warriors driving inside. He's kicking, he's off the mark. And a jump ball here as the bodies hit the deck. Possession go, arrow going the Crusaders' way. Serna passes it outside, gets the ball back. with the ball again on the wing. Josh Jones gets the ball at the top of the key with a lot of space. Serna again, he's going to drive, spins, finds the open man outside, he drives, 
Crusaders looking for some space here for a shot, unable to get it. And off the mark is Jack Esperanza. Other way is Bagnani. He takes a shot mid-range off the mark. Picked up again by the Warriors. Offensive rebound, no good. Push off. They're going to say a shooting foul here on the Crusaders. And it's going to be Gio Awasum, the junior shooting guard. He's going to take a couple free throws here. And drills the first free throw to push the lead five to two. It's that one, six to two now. Crusaders led by Serna as he crosses the timeline here. Passes it to Killing, he's pressured. Josh Jones. Getting trapped on the outside, and he coughs up the ball and goes the other way. Suffocating defense by the Warriors to force a turnover. Six to two with four minutes to go here in the first. I will assume inbounds it to Cook. Benigni passes inside of Cook. Cook, easy two. We'll see if St. Michael's can get some more points on here. They've been suffocated by the other team. Constantly put, uh, force to push the ball outside, and we'll have a travel here. Cade Killeen moved around with the ball and forgot his passport. Austin Bignini, the 5'11 junior, with the ball, he gives it up, gets it back, he's going to dribble inside with the left hand, scoops, goes around, and puts some English on that to lay it in. 10-2 Warriors, and timeout called by the Crusaders, they want to talk this over. And we'll take a timeout with them here on Vibe Live. Broadcast, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does <laughs> 10 to 2 as we get set to resume the first quarter. The Warriors looking real strong here in the first quarter, just drilling almost every single one of their shots, pushing inside and forcing turnovers. The Crusaders, on the other hand, having a difficult time finding any space for a bucket. And now the point guard, Serna, is going to bounce past it inside. And a foul called on the Warriors. Crusaders almost able to get the and one here. goes in for the Crusaders. St. Michael is down seven points here. Second shot is good. Benigni pushing the ball up court. He's going to dribble with the left hand switches, pushes inside and draw some contact as he'll head to the line. Shot was in the process, excuse me, the foul was in the process of a shot. First free throw goes in. 
for Benigni. Benigni looking really good with that left hand as he likes to dribble and slice into the basket. And he drills the second bucket to push it 12 to 4. We've seen him dribble quite a bit with his left hand here in this one and drive on the left side. Crusaders pushing the ball around. colleen has got it on the wing. Gives it back to Cern at the top of the key. Sparza gets a bucket inside. He's got a few words for the other team. Pressure here from the Crusaders. Warriors pushing the ball outside. Cook's got it. Gives it back to Pipkin. Pipkin slices the defenders. He pushes inside and gets the bucket. Leaving three men in his way. Colleen gives it back to Cerna. To number four. Inside pass here to Speranza. And he's fouled from behind by Zion Pipkin. Pipkin was going to try to steal the ball as Esparza was rising up. Oh, and the referee's going to actually say it. It's heard on the floor, so no shots here. Crusaders coach had a few words to say about that. He disagreed. One minute and 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Crusaders. Turning the ball over here. And St. Michael's having a tough time here in the first quarter as he's down eight. And even crossing the timeline, finds Zion. Awasun gives it back to Zion. Right-handed dribble, crosses over, and drives inside, stops. Finds the open Austin Bagnini, who drives inside, gets some contact, and a little bump. And drills the shot, and flexes on him. Cerna, looking for Josh Jones, inside, not unable to find him though. Ball's on the wing. Drive inside by Colleen. Easy two. 16 now. Warriors going the other way. With 43 seconds and counting here in the first. An offensive foul here, moving screens. That's the referee. That was on Wyatt Boker. Nice break here for the Crusaders. They need to score here with 37 seconds to go here in the first. Cerna dribbles all the way around, kick ball out of bounds as Cook cut the pass off with his feet. Turn has got the ball. Finds Colleen on the outside. Colleen's going to take a dribble inside. Turns. Finds Esparza, but Esparza loses it. Here's Austin Bignani with some contact. And drills it. He has some words for Zerna. Zerna going the other way now. Maybe he can respond here. Colleen takes a shot from outside, and he drills it. On the buzzer. Exciting first quarter here at the home of the Vikings, Bryan High School. The neutral ground here for this matchup between St. Michael's and the Woodlands Christian Academy.
Second quarter getting underway here. As the Warriors lead 18-11. St. Michael's able to answer back and score some points here before the end of that first quarter. With a buzzer beater shot from Colleen. And here's Bignani as he crosses over. Finds Zion. Zion takes a mid-range shot off the mark and rebounded by the Crusaders. Getting a little physical now, both teams with each other. Here's Griffin on. Finds Cerna. Colleen. Back to Cerna. Pawn passes it to the wing. Body on the floor, off the mark here. Austin Bignani going the other way. Finds Cook, the 6'7 body, unable to find the mark. And rebound to the Crusaders. And St. Michael's looks to put some points on the board here. One minute has expired so far in the second quarter. Cerna gets a pass inside, tries to find Colleen. Sparza who travels again, second travel ball in Sparza. Bignini crossing the timeline, able to find Wyatt Boker. Is Jack Cole touching the ball for the first time here. As he finds Awasu. He gives it back to Bignini. Bignini driving. Lobs it up with the left hand and off the mark. The second is by St. Michaels. Pipkin will be the trigger man here. Finds Boker. Boker lobs it up for Gio Wasson, but unable to score here. Off the mark again. And bodies hit the deck here. Crusader on the ground. And it'll be St. Michael Ball. We'll dry up the floor here. So we got a little sweat spot. Turner on the wing. Finds Josh Jones. Jones with an easy two. Quick transition here for the Warriors as they're able to draw the foul on the other side. Zion Pipkin attacks the basket and draws a foul. Excuse me, it's Gio Wasson. He will take the free throws from the stripe. substitutions for each team. Cedric Cook comes back in the game for Wyatt Boker. Excuse me, Boker's still in the game. It was Jack Cole who went to the bench. Now they have some fighting here with Boker at 6'6 and Cedric Cook at 6'7. Cerna dribbles up court. Finds Reese Martin. Cerna on the other side on the wing. Off the mark here and Cook comes down with the rebound. Zion Pipkin going the other way. And Jack Cole loses the ball and he goes out of bounds. 
tried to gather and it slipped out of his hands. Reese Martin will head to the bench for the Crusaders. Cerna gets it to Hahn, who gets it to Pauline. It's a nice screen for Sparza. Sparza trapped, able to find Cerna. He finds Colleen again on the outside. They're looking for a shot here. Sparza at the top of the key. Again, a Cerna inside. Unable to turn towards the basket here. Crusaders. Outside. And now this is just around the world here as they can't get a shot up. Sparza finally dribbles inside and under the basket for two. And they cut down the sleeve just four points. The knee knee on the ground. Bodies fighting for the ball. And out of a push here. Both teams getting real physical now. They know what's at stake. And Griffin Hahn, excited that he was able to get a reaction out of the Warriors. While Austin Bagnini pleads his case to the referees. He's yelling at his coach saying that he got choked. And this is a real physical basketball here. <laughs> Wait to see what the referee's gonna do here. May, may assess one or two technicals here. You'd have to think the Warriors will at least get punished for that push on Griffin Hahn. So the technical will be assessed here. We'll get some free throws. Lean. And he throws him. Point lead here for the Warriors. And Cerna crossing the timeline. He's trying to call some plays here for his team. To the outside. Hans got it. Passes it inside. Colleen, Colleen blocked from behind by Booker. Excuse me, Booker took that ball out of his hands. And Bignani loses it the other way and turns it over. Showing every bit of that 6 6 frame to jump up and strip that ball in the air. Pass outside to Colleen. Colleen gets the ball back. Tries to lay it up. No good. Off the glass here. Hard touch. And Bagnini dribbling the other way. He loses it again. Three turnovers. For Bagnini. And Cade Colleen travels. A sloppy basketball here for both teams. It's been odd. Benigni, who we've seen dribble very, very well, has just turned the ball over three straight times. Maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Takes it left. And it's that. And fades away. Easy bucket there. Beautiful shot. And Cerna, who's played every second of this game so far. And K. 
clean again with another turnover. They'll say that the Warriors stepped out of bounds. And the Crusaders dodge a bullet here. 21 to 17 with three minutes and two seconds to go here in the second period. The ball outside for the Crusaders. Killeen gets it back. Inside. And a travel sets the referee. Two straight travels now for the Crusaders. Woodlands Christian heading the other way. Benigni again with the left hand. Steps back off the mark. Rebounded by St. Michael's. Cerner going the other way. Inside pass. Off the mark. Here comes Woodland Christians in two incision. Benigni off the mark again. Blocked. Pippen went up and was blocked by the St. Michaels. Outside that goes inside to Sparza turns and off the glass here, unable to drill it. Benigni coming the other way, lobs it up for Cook. And Cook, 6 7 frame, laying it up, making it look easy. And the Crusaders will take another timeout here. One minute 46 to go. And the Vikings leading by six. Sure, Vite Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vite brings you exciting. Back row, here comes James, and gets the kill. Vite brings you walk off home. <laughs> Wide drive, deep to left, it is going, and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vite Sports. Pretty physical basketball as we come off the timeout here. Both teams finding it a little bit harder to score here in the second period. The Warriors were kind of scoring at will in the first quarter, having their way, and Crusaders kind of woke up and playing a little bit of defense here as they try to cut down this deficit. They brought it down to two points, and the Warriors were able to stretch it back out to six. Cerna with the ball. And the right wing to clean. Cerna loses it. Here's Boker. And Boker lands it in for two. 25-17. With 119 to go. And you can really see that momentum pendulum kind of swinging both ways. I mean, each team is going on these little runs and then just putting the clamps on defense. Sparza passing it around here, finds Killeen. Back outside, inside Josh Jones. Josh Jones trapped. Dangerous pass. Back around to Cerna. They're trying to trap Josh again, using his body. And smacks it off. as he forces that ball out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors, and the Crusaders is having a difficult time finding any space to shoot. And Cerna will inbound it under the rim. He gets the ball back. Finds Killeen on the outside. 
Gets it to Sparza. Sparza turns. Will set a screen. Clean. Gets up for two. 25-19 now with 20 seconds to go. This could be the last possession of the half. Zion Pipkin. Wants isolation here. He finds Bagnini. Bagnini will put it up. Unable to hit the mark. And a long range shot by Killeen. It is also off. And that closes off for the first half. A very physical action here. 25 to 19 as the Warriors will head into the locker room with a lead here. And we'll be right back with third quarter action here in Bryan College Station.
third quarter on the way as Benigni takes the inbound. Find Wyatt Boker at the top of the key. And trapped immediately is Big Nani. Is there able to find Cook on the outside? Benigni. Holding the ball here at the top of the key, he'll dribble, dribble to the left side. Again, he's holding the ball here. Zion's going to dribble inside. And a jump ball forced by Josh Jones. Possession arrow pointing towards the Crusaders, and they'll get the ball. Amazing play as Josh Jones went up and stripped the ball from Zion Pipkin. Unbelievable. Here's Serna going the other way. Queen finds Sparza. Sparza using that body, pushes inside, and off the mark here. Nice pass by Boker as he finds Bignani. Bignani inside pass. And one. Chance Perkins, the 6'5 junior. With his first bucket of the game here. And one of the taller guards here for the Warriors, like I just mentioned, listed at 6'5". <laughs> Referees had to pause the game for a little uh, fan interference. Shots good, pushes the lead to 28-19. Ball goes out of bounds. the ball around as the Crusaders find clean at the top of the key back to the left wing. Clean steps back outside Cerna with the ball now. And a foul here by the Warriors. Serna passes it outside. Spars at top of the key back to Serna. Serna's just been running around the entire floor. Back outside. And we're getting to this point again where the Crusaders is passing the ball around too much. Unable to find the space for a shot. Here's Serna off the mark. An offensive rebound put back by Josh Jones. Here come the Warriors. Here's Zion Pipkin. Feeling the pressure here, he's able to give it to Cook. Cook finds Boker off the mark here. Last touch might be by the Crusaders, though. And you know, that seemed a little odd because from my angle, it did look like it was last touch by St. Michael's, but they get a call to go their way. And Sparza will cross the timeline here. Finds Josh Jones. Jones again. Back to the outside. And an inside pass to Sparza. Jones mid-range. You're giving him too much room right there. I guess they know he can't shoot.
and the Warriors just giving St. Michael's just a lot of space on the three-point line, but the Crusaders not taking advantage of all that space. And a deflection, last touch by Austin Benigni. And the Crusaders just seem to get in this little funk where they just can't score and just end up passing the ball around and around and around. Inside pass here to Sparza. Sparza travels as he is trapped by the wonderful defense played by the Warriors. Again, Benigni. From what I've noticed, Benigni and Serna, the guards for the for both teams, have been in this game for every minute of it. Here's Perkins who passes it back outside and he wants the ball again. Benigni dribbles, stops, and turns it over. Good job by Daniel Serna to bounce, to bounce that off the Warriors' leg. Here's Serna back with the ball, pushing it up court. Pass to the right wing. Sparza gets it, switches it over to the left wing, screen set by Josh Jones as he rolls. And a turnover here by the Crusaders again, unable to find a shot, they just pass the ball around and around and we've seen them turn the ball over just from that. Zion Pipkin with the ball. Sizes his man up, Serna gets dribbled past. And a foul caught on Serna. As he hit the wrist of Cedric Cook. Perkins. Finds Boker inside for two. Colleen at the top of the key gets a strong screen by Josh Jones. Still with it. Drives inside. Bounces off the top of the glass. Glass touch by the Warriors. Excuse me, Crusaders. And both teams fighting for that spot in the state finals. A lot at stake here. And here comes the trap. Ball gets swung around. Perkins dribbles inside and blocked from behind by Josh Jones. And Cook comes up with the rebound and cleans it up. And we'll have a timeout called here by the Crusaders. We'll take a timeout with them, but not before a word from our sponsor. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. We'll be right back after this timeout.
back in the mix we go. And Zahn dribbles inside, passes it out to Sparza. Gathers, goes up, and last touch by the Warriors. We're seeing just how difficult it is to shoot on the tall frame of Cedric Cook, 6'7". Josh James, on the other hand, for the Crusaders, he's listed at 6'8". He can use that little bit of height for his advantage. Here's a turnover by the Crusaders, scored the other way by the Negan. Thirty-four to twenty-one here. And we finally see them take a three. Crusaders off the mark. And referees say that it was last touched by St. Michael's. Again, questionable call because it looked like it came off of Chase Perkins. Pipkin with the ball here, finds Boker, Boker lays it off for Bagnani, Bagnani, beautiful spin, and Josh Jones sends it to the fifth row, going the other way are the Crusaders, all the way, coast to coast. Zion Pipkin gets inside this time. Josh Jones trying to get the block. But Pipkin got the better of him. Zion with the ball. She's behind. Finds Kalina, finds Sparza. Josh Jones at the top of the key and off the hands of Griffin Hong. Crusaders in danger of letting this one slip away. 13-point lead right now for the Warriors. The Warriors. Nine minutes and eight seconds away. From getting to that goal of the state finals. Here's Boker with the ball. Lays it off to Bignani. Beautiful spin, lays it with that left hand off the mark. Here comes the Crusaders going the other way. Han stops, lays it off. Passing it outside now. Reed Shootart to the left side. Back outside. A lot of space at the three-point line. Crusaders not interested in taking three-point shots. Swinging it around now. Kaleen turns. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. And out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. Suffocating defense. I mean, the Crusaders cannot get any space for a shot here. Six seconds to go here. Griffin Hahn takes it inside. Passes it. And Reed Shootar off the mark here. Three quarters so far in this one. Just eight minutes to go to decide who will advance to the Taps State Finals. We'll be right back on Vibe Live.
13 point lead here for the Warriors as they look to put this one away. Crusaders are not going to make this easy on them. I mean, both teams playing very, very physical brand of basketball. We're seeing a battle underneath the basket for both teams. Just using that high, using that strength to kind of limit each other. Benigni dribbles with the left hand, takes a little bit of contact, and able to get the ball to roll in. 38-23. Serna trapped in the corner. Able to get it to the other corner. Here's Clean with the shot. Hits the iron. And Benigni going the other way. Benigni crosses over. Goes baseline. And passes it outside of Perkins. Perkins finds Pipkin, and they'll reset. Pipkin crosses over to the left side, finds Cook underneath the basket, and no bucket sets the referee as he calls a travel. This was called by the referee furthest away from the ball, as there was one right underneath the basket who apparently didn't see it. Cerna crossing the timeline. Spars at the top of the key. They find Gurley on the corner who dribbles inside. Find Sparza again. And Sparza pushing a little bit off the mark. Rebounded by Crusaders. Up and off the mark. Number four unable to find the basket, but he does find some contact and makes his way to the stripe for two. Drills both of them. 13-point lead now for the Warriors. Zion Pipkin going the other way fast and fouled. Referee says that foul was on the floor, so no shots there for Pipkin. As Perkins will inbound it. Finds Cook underneath the basket. Cook turns. Floats it up. No good. Josh Jones with the rebound. Cerna going the other way. Cerna finds his man at the top of the key. Gets it back on the left wing. Trying to find Sparza. The bottom of the basket. Josh Jones. To Killeen. Around the four. Underneath the basket of Josh Jones. Josh Jones with the contact. A lot of contact here. No whistles though. Perkins finds Boker and the point guard Bignani gets the ball back and takes some contact. Perkins finds Benigni. Perkins off the mark. And a foul caught on the floor. Cerna disagreeing with the call here. So is the Crusaders head coach here. He can't believe the call. And frustration starting to set in for St. Michael's. Pipkin at the line for a couple free throws. Misses the first one. Drills that one. 
Clippers into a 14-point lead. Cerna keeps the ball and almost turns it over as Perkins got there and deflects it out of bounds. Time I called by the Crusaders. 14 point lead here for the Warriors and they're almost running away with it, limiting the offensive opportunities for the for St. Michaels. I mean St. Michaels just passing it around and around and around and unable to find a look. Yeah, I'd really like to see how it would look if uh, a shot clock could put in some pressure, but I mean it, it, would, it would seem like the Crusaders would struggle there too. Coach Tanner Fields' men, just five minutes and 24 seconds away from a state finals berth. Clean at the baseline, off the mark here. Josh Jones gets an offensive rebound. Cerna, 27-39 here. Pipkin pushing the ball up four, almost loses it. Finds Benigni, who's played just about every second of this game. Benigni and Cerna, it's been a pretty solid matchup to watch. Both guys are really going at it. Been physical with each other, both getting to the basket and scoring. And Serna finally getting a break here. Neatney. Poker to Perkins. Back to Poker and Neatney again. Perkins dribbles inside. He's going to go. And off the rim here. Kate Colleen will push the ball up court. Finds a man on the left wing. Josh Jones. Again to the outside. Josh Jones underneath the basket. Turns, spins, and called for a travel. Second time Josh Jones has traveled in this game. neutral site. No bleachers at the bottom level which has created a pretty, pretty nice little environment for the fans to kind of look down onto the court. Well a timeout called here. Four minute timeout and we'll take one with them but not before a quick word from our sponsors, Academy. And get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your nearest Academy store. We'll be right back here in Bryan College Station.
Crusaders will inbound it here. Dealing a little bit of a full court press from the Crusaders. And it's about that time we'll see St. Michael's pressure. Underneath the basket, almost a turnover by the Warriors. Perkins again feeling the pressure, coughs it up. And the Crusaders want to travel here. Benigni just spun. And will run around before he is fouled. And you saw the entire St. Michael's bench rise. And Benigni spun around his defender. Awesome, Benigni has been a difference maker in this one. Just attacking the basket and finding the open men. First, and we get a second one. <laughs> Off the mark on the second one. And last touch by Chase Perkins. Excuse me, Chance Perkins. And ball will be inbounded by the Crusaders. Three minutes and 45 seconds here to come back in the game if they can. Finds Kalina outside. Kalina takes a mid-range shot off the mark. Bodies hit the ground. And a jump ball here. <laughs> the Warriors will retain possession. Mistake. The Crusaders will actually inbound underneath the basket. Three minutes and 25 seconds here in this fourth period. The Warriors minutes away from reaching the state finals. Tough shot here by the Crusaders off the rim. Benigni leaving his man behind, feeling the pressure from Cerna. And a foul here will send Benigni to the stripe. Drills both of them. Crusaders trying to get some buckets here. They're running out of time. Three minutes to go. Benin pushing the ball up court. And a timeout call by the Crusaders. The head coach wants to talk about it. for the Warriors, and it looks like they have a safe cushion. Now, we've seen crazy things happen before, but the way the Crusaders are struggling and scoring the basketball doesn't look, doesn't look like they'll be able to come back in this one.
bounce ball. Quick pass outside. Three goes up and off the mark. Put back in by the Crusaders. As they try to cut this lead down. Austin Benigni goes to the rim. And comes down a little strange holding his calf. There. He was holding his right calf. And he's getting looked at by the trainers on the far sideline. We'll resume the action here. Serna passes it to the outside clean off the side of the backboard. And the Warriors coming the other way. Here's Pipkin. Takes a little bit of contact, pump fade, and goes back up for two. Cerna floats it up off the mark. And the Warriors two minutes away. Pipkin coughs it up and battle on the ground. And the Warriors able to get it back. We have a man down on the court, so we'll get a timeout called as he gets looked at. Two minutes to go here in the quarter. We'll be right back in just a few moments. Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts. But did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does sports. Perkins will inbound the ball for the Woodlands Christian Academy, leading this one by 15 points. Feeling a little bit of pressure here from the Crusaders. Perkins dribbles inside, back outside, finds Boker, and swings it around to Pipkin, who finds Owasum. Woodlands Christian will just try to hold on the ball for as long as they can without forcing a turnover. Passes it around, finds Boker. Again, no shot clock here, so Crusaders got to force a turnover here or foul. One minute and 25 seconds to go. And we get a foul from the Crusaders. Chance Perkins will head to the stripe for two. So head coach Tanner Field and his men just a minute and 18 seconds away from victory here. Crusaders mid-range shot off the mark. Rebounded by the Warriors. Iwana underneath the basket will take the shot. It's much smarter to hold on to possession here. Boker with the ball. Dribbles around, finds Perkins. Perkins feeling the press. Three men on him. Pipkin. Seconds to go here in 
this fourth period. You can see the Crusaders fans, St. Michael's fans, just clapping it up for the team. They're very proud of just how far their school has gotten here. Four seconds to go here. Here's Boker. Finally, the Warriors take a shot off the mark. Going the other way will be Crusaders. Reese Martin all the way. Reese Martin for two. Warriors with the ball here. They're going to hold on to it. Here's a bad shot taken by Josh Bento. Blocked and rebounded by the Crusaders. Crusaders will take a shot from outside. Nine seconds to go here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Williams Christian Patty has reached the top state finals. The dominant victory over the St. Michael's Crusaders, 44 to 31 here. As we saw a physical match at the beginning, get even more physical throughout the game. And the Warriors ran away with it. Again, Crusaders fans just congratulating their team. Very proud on their progress and getting to the state semifinal. And representing Austin. Lining up for a team photo as they rejoice and wrap their arms around each other. Thanks for joining us here in Bryan College Station. My name is Jim Perez.